If you're watching this video, you've probably noticed that there's more than one way to hit a drop shot. If you're anything like me, when you first started playing, you hit a drop the same way every time. But in this video, we're gonna go over four different ways to hit a drop shot, the pros and cons to each, and give you some insight on when to use each of these shots. And make sure you stay to the end because after we show you these different types of drop shots, we're gonna share a bonus one that's a little bit of a hybrid that's my personal favorite. Let's get into it. The first type of drop we're gonna go over is the forehand push drop. The reason I call this a push drop is because it's a low to high motion as opposed to a slice, which might be a high to low motion. When you hit this drop, it's gonna be a little bit more defensive. It's gonna give you a little bit more loft and it's gonna put some slight backspin on the ball. So let's talk about a few tips on how to execute this shot. So here's some tips on how to hit this forehand push drop and afterwards I'm gonna go through some of the pros and cons to this and we'll go over eventually when to hit it. So first you wanna make sure that you have a loose grip when hitting this shot. I would say about a three to a four grip strength out of 10. So you want a loose grip, it's a low to high motion. You wanna make sure you're swinging with your shoulder and not using too much wrist and you're just contacting that ball with an open paddle face. So this would be more of a closed paddle face. You wanna take your palm and slightly open it towards the sky and then you're going to use your legs and lift with your shoulder and guide that ball forward finishing with that follow through forward those are some tips that are really going to help you execute this drop some pros to this drop are that it's slower pace it usually has a, a bit more loft to it which helps you have time to advance to the kitchen but some cons are it's usually not going to be a drop that creates a lot of pressure or pop-ups from your opponent Next, we're gonna talk about the backhand slice drop. Now, this is pretty similar to the forehand push. However, there's a couple differences and this is how it goes. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a loose wrist. Again, you want that three to four grip strength out of 10. Now, what's really important is that you do kind of cock your wrist and you leave it in this position throughout the entire shot. I actually think that's why this is a very consistent drop to hit because that wrist is completely stationary throughout the movement. Another thing to remember is the swing path is high to low. So you're gonna start with that paddle tip high and you're gonna come low and then you're gonna end high again, almost like a Nike sign. It's really important that you bring that paddle up in the follow through because that's what's gonna give it that nice loft to get through the court. And last thing is you wanna make sure that you're pointing your shoulder at the ball and then you wanna end it in the direction that you want the ball to go, okay? So if you wanna go forward, that shoulder is gonna to move towards the net forward. If you wanna go cross court again, you're gonna to point towards the ball and then have that shoulder end where you want to follow through. Now we're gonna go through some pros and cons. So some pros are this ball's gonna have a lot of loft on it. And I love loft, especially when you're working in the transition zone to get up to the kitchen, because I always say loft stands for lots of freaking time, okay? That means you have time to move up to the kitchen because that ball's gonna have some nice arc on it. Additionally, what's nice about this is even though it has loft, you actually can create a little bit Bit of pressure, especially if you're following through forward, that ball is going to have really good spin and action on it. It's going to be hard for your opponents to hit up on that ball because of this drop shot. Cons for this shot is that it can get your body out of position, so just be sure to recover so that you're ready for the next shot. We're gonna get to the next two types of drops here in a minute, but before we do, let's talk about when to hit these first two shots. So we've talked about how to hit them and the pros and cons to each, but which balls should you choose? Typically when you're hitting a slice from the backhand side or a push from the forehand side, you wanna pick balls that are a little deeper in the court. This is gonna give you time to advance forward. It's much more difficult to hit the next two shots we're gonna talk about. So the closer you are to the net on those, the more success you're gonna have. So again, if you need need time, if you need extra time to get your feet prepared, or you need time to get to the kitchen, these can be great shots to hit when you're pushed back. The next type of drop shot we're gonna talk about is the forehand roll drop. Now this is one of my favorite drops and here's kind of some good cues to help you learn it. So the first one is you're gonna hit this with your paddle tip down, okay? I wanna talk about the swing path of this shot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit it with the paddle tip down and then through the shot that paddle tip's going to kind of windshield wiper up 
and then your follow through is gonna be near your opposite shoulder. Now, some other things that are really important to keep in mind is you're gonna, again, have a loose wrist and you're gonna really wanna make sure that you create space between you and the ball. You cannot hit the shot when you're really jammed up. Some other cues that are gonna be really helpful is contact point. So you're gonna always wanna contact that ball in front of you, but you wanna make sure that you're contacting that ball on the bottom half of the ball. So you can't use this on every shot, but if you can get yourself to see that bottom bottom part of the ball and get your paddle under that shot, that's really what's going to create the roll. Some pros to this type of drop shot is that it's going to be pretty aggressive. The reason why is the trajectory of the ball is going to arc up and then aggressively come down because you're applying top spin with the shot. However, the con to this is that it is a more difficult shot to hit and it's easy to have some more unforced errors and hitting the ball into the net, especially if you're not giving yourself space or not contacting the ball at the bottom half. Before we get into the bonus type of drop, which is kind of a hybrid combo, we're gonna go over the last type of drop, and that is a backhand roll, okay? So when you're executing the backhand roll, most commonly, you're gonna use two hands. I wanna quickly show you the grip. So wherever you grip the paddle with your four hand, just keep it there. Then you're gonna slide your top hand onto the paddle, and you want this back finger up on the paddle face, almost like a pencil, okay? So you're gonna hold it like this. This is gonna be your grip. And then the big tips that you wanna keep in mind when you're hitting the shot, similar to the other side, you wanna give yourself space between you and the ball, but you really on this shot wanna make sure that you get low into a squat because this motion is going to be used primarily with your legs, and then you're gonna swing up on the ball and finish near your opposite shoulder. And the last thing that's maybe the most important thing when it comes to hitting this shot is that you really wanna let your non-dominant hand do the work. So when I'm hitting this shot, I'm primarily swinging with my left hand that's going to be what creates that roll and that consistency in this shot. So the pros to this shot, much like the forehand roll, is due to the topspin that you're applying, you're gonna create a lot of pressure on your opponents and create more pop-ups to put away the ball more easily. Some cons to this is, again, like the forehand roll, it really takes a lot of preparation time. So if you don't have time to really get low and get into that squat, then it's going to be very easy to miss hit this ball and hit it into the net. So now let's talk about which balls to choose when hitting a forehand or backhand roll. You want to pick balls that are a little bit closer to the net or maybe more in the mid-court area. That's going to really help you apply pressure to your opponents and make it to the net. You also want to pick balls that are on their descent, meaning if you can wait till the ball has hit its apex or begins to fall, that's going to be a great ball to pick. It's much harder to hit topspin when you take that ball off the short hop or when the ball's traveling upwards. As promised before, now let's go over our little bonus tip, okay? When it comes to this bonus type of drop, I call this a hybrid or a drive drop combo. You see a lot of higher level players, when they get a ball that's kind of difficult to drop, they'll actually drive it, not to hit a winner, but to set up an easier ball to drop. Here's what it could look like. So I'm gonna get a ball here. I'm gonna choose to drive the ball. And then look right there, I got a ball right back in the midcourt that was much easier to drop than if I would try to drop the first one. So again, guys, you don't always have to drop the third shot. Sometimes you should drive the third and get a nice easy transition ball to drop on the fifth one. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the PlayPickleball.com YouTube channel. No, seriously, actually subscribe because the more subscribers that we get, the higher quality videos we can bring you. We'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.